update to my travel plans. I was gonna go to New York for 99U from the 6th of May until the 13th of May, which is about a week. Um, but since then, I got asked if I would go to another Adobe conference, um, which is happening in London on the 3rd and 4th of May. So I'm actually going to be flying on Tuesday evening um, from Joburg to London. I uh, will have a day to run around London when I land. And then I'll put the conference on Thursday, Friday. I get to spend the day in London on Saturday and then Sunday morning I'll fly to New York. One of those weird flights where you fly at like eight in the morning, but you land in New York and it's 10 in the morning. So yeah, very weird uh, schedule, but uh, of course, up for it. So while I pack, I'm gonna talk to you about um, something that we covered this week. Fjord had brought one of the lead designers, um, I think it's Andrew Buckley from the UK, and he worked with us to kind of discuss design at scale. But Andrew was talking about kind of more unpacking with us is how design is see, perceived in an organization. One of those things that he brought up, which I've been considering for quite a while is where does design actually sit? Because currently in most organizations, design lives in the digital department. And I'll be honest, I don't know that that's correct. Design is way broader than a single channel, which is what digital is. Digital is a channel. And while it's certainly the largest channel at the moment and where we build all of our product, which is ultimately what the banking offering is to the public, um, design doesn't exclusively live there. And where does it extend out to? So we, we got to unpack that and I definitely think it leaves a lot of room to thought of, you know, do we actually stay as part of digital or do we branch out and make design a broader discipline within the bank? Because it really can extend itself to so many things. What it does then do is challenge, you know, at the end of the day, does the brand division work for the design team or does marketing run through the design division, which would really challenge things because I've spoken about it before that marketing believe that they are kind of the owners of all things inside uh, corporate environments because they were the creatives at one stage. I personally believe that marketing should ultimately mark their homework with um, the brand team because it has to, whatever they mark, it has to be aligned with brand. But then at the same time, I've got to go do the brand guys even know what they're doing because ultimately they should check their homework with the design team because the design team that's currently there is very digitally focused. Um, and I don't think that the brand teams that are in corporate companies do the same thing. I don't think that they know what they're doing in a digital world and what some of the constraints are. So I think you should build up a really competent design team of multidisciplinary uh, skill sets to service your, your corporation like we do at the bank. And then, you know, I think that brands certainly are a specialist team of, of people and they are, you know, a lovely team at, at NetBank and I enjoy working with them. So, you know, really we should be aligning on these things a lot more and I think we do, we, we de definitely do. And then, you know, marketing, you know, their the roles have shifted, you know, they are there to market the product. They are not experts in design. And so again, they should be checking their homework with the design team. It begs the question though, you know, could design be sustained at that level? Is there enough of a demand? I personally think there is. You know, I actually recently said this to my design team. 
you know, it was something I'd read somewhere and something I've been thinking about a lot. And that is that ultimately everything, like everything is design. And I don't know, think about that. So maybe design team, the design has to step on a little bit. One of those weird little facts that maybe not a lot of people know is that I rarely ever wear anything other than plain black t-shirts. Maybe a little logo on the side. I think just got a tiny little tag there. But mostly I wear <laughs> black t-shirts. Um, my wardrobe is made up of probably about 80 to 90% black t-shirts. And then I have a couple of gray, white, and the odd colored shirt. The likelihood of you all wanting to watch me uh, pack my bags is pretty slim. So this is probably about the time where I say goodbye. I will leave you with this little nugget that there's gonna be a lot to shoot. So I will certainly be filming my travels and hopefully try and put out a daily vlog um, I'm not sure how much time I'll have to edit, but I will release the vlogs pretty frequently and there'll be a lot of content. Um, hopefully I can bring home the design because I think that's all anybody really cares about. But uh, I'm sure I can shoot some stuff in some really interesting uh, places. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and stay cool.